compulsion. There are things that will not happen for you if this grace is not working in your life. There are certain kind of advantages you will never enjoy from men if this grace is not at work in your life. Lord, that oil that compels the loyalty and the commitment of men, that oil that compels wealth and financial favors, that oil that compels goods towards a man, place upon my life tonight. The oil of divine compulsion, the oil of divine compulsion, let it be at work in my life, let it be at work in this ministry, from this day Jesus name of pray. One of the most difficult beings to play around with on the surface of the earth are human beings. What will move a man to carry out of his own resources to give to you must be something beyond the natural. What will compel a man to want to go any length to make sure your destiny is fulfilled, to want to make sure what you are looking for, you get it. It must be something beyond the natural. It's called oil of compulsion. The anointing of divine he said when peter was done speaking to them they were pricked at heart something it was beyond normal words there was an oil behind that word it's called the anointing of divine compulsion sponsored when a man has carried what we call the influencing presence he said didn't our heart burn within us when he spake to us did something not happen to us when he spake to us the anointing for divine compulsion you can't do effective soul winning without this oil i've seen all kinds of caliber of, of humans living stupid kind of like all i tell them is tell them to meet me they sit in my office and I ask them two three questions the young man is crying the young woman is crying what is happening there is a grace of what compulsion he said compel them the anakazo of god resting upon a man that's what great servant of god Ami mcpherson carried how she will stand in front of her church and just stand like this and every man passing through that street will look at her and enter inside just standing because of an unction on a man one time great servant of god our bishop ben cedar was went for a crusade haven't done the billboards and all things he went saw the crusade so empty nobody was there he said everyone passing through this street i compel them to begin to enter it's an oil he said that night the king could not sleep everything you are looking for from god is in the hand of somebody else anointing grace money favor whatever you need is in someone's hand what we pull them towards your direction is compulsion seeing this grace at work we commit the of the hearts of men towards a man it's called the oil of compulsion some of them will tell you as long as i am alive i will not watch you cry he said i don't know what for something i'm just compelled to do this for you have you not seen that kind of favor the person says i don't know what why i'm helping you not upon my name upon my appearance upon my voice upon my words let the oil of compulsion rest that you carry your phone, you just finish speaking to someone and the person is under pressure. What will I do for this person now? The anointing for compulsion. You are into business, you need this anointing. There is something that can compel people to desire what you said. That's what the people of this world use. When you are praying life and destiny matter, you don't pray gentle prayers. No, the Bible says when he came before the grave of Lazarus, what did Jesus do? With a loud cry. Don't come and say, Lord, let it fall. You show some sense of seriousness. If I didn't know about it, I won't teach you. If I didn't know that it works wonders, I won't tell you. And men are telling you, I don't like you. But I don't know why I choose to favor you. It's an oil. Even the people don't know what is wrong with them. They are saying that you are not qualified, but they say, I don't know. Put that man's name. Somebody is fighting, he say, I'd rather die, but that man's name must be there. We don't know that if she gives this one, she and her child will die. But the issue there is that she is under what? She has lost her mind at that point in time. She don't know what she was doing. She was being moved. He said, I have commanded a widow. Before Elijah got there, she was under pressure looking for Elijah. That's why when he came, she never asked me, what is your name? She was under pressure. Anyone that needs to lose their sleep, their peace or rest for my lifting to come. That oil that compels men, kings, nations to the rising of a man.